Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Anna Terea, and here's Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianka with your full forecast. Dan, how's it looking out there this Friday night, especially if your weekend plans plan to take you out to, say, some car week events? Well, I think uh, if you're out around the coast tonight, it kind of feels cool and Misty, almost Halloween, like we were just talking about the, the movie Beetlejuice a minute ago. I don't know if you're ready for fall things yet. I saw a bunch of Halloween candy at the CVS the other day. And I'm, I'm like, ready what for fall things. What month is it right now? Who's never ready it's for August. that? It's August. It's August. That's what it is. Here's a foggy picture. This is stock image from my weather library. Uh, just because I forgot to take a sunset picture tonight. It was pretty dark and foggy by the time I had a chance to. But here's a look at some high temperatures from around the region today. Your hot spot park field at 105, just like like yesterday. You know, a hot day is not too bad in Parkfield. Just go sit under the oak tree by the cafe there, have a pink lemonade, and everything's fine in the world. It might be sweaty, but there's always a little breeze, right? Pacific Grove and Pebble Beach, tied as our cool spot today, only 62 degrees. That is, that's cold. That's some, those are some chilly temperatures. Elsewhere around the bay, mostly 70s on the north side of the bay, 60s. Highs below normal for this time of year, especially Monterey Salinas by a couple of degrees out there tonight. We're in the 50s to 60s around the coast and into the near coastal valley. Still a little bit warmer up in the hills. The low in the Pinoch Valley again this morning was 77. That's pretty warm in the middle of the night. The high right around 99. So eastern San Benito County pretty toasty. We don't have a, an active I don't have the data directly in my system here, but it, it, it's I've, I've got some sources. Yeah. It was pretty toasty out there, but near the coast, we're not experiencing those warm, warm temperatures. They're mostly in the 50s overnight. That's about where we are going to stay. Uh, the clouds are going to stick around. Really, we're in a pretty normal summer weather pattern where we have kind of high pressure dominating things. Typically, we don't see too much monsoon moisture around our area during the summer. We have this year. We've talked about it a lot. I know if you've been tuning into my weathercasts over the last two months, you're like, monsoon, 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 monsoon. You're probably tired of hearing me saying monsoon. But for me, it actually kept things a little bit more interesting than normal. So I guess I'm grateful. We even got a couple shots of rain from it. And so far, knock on wood, this is a green cloth thing behind me, so I can't knock on that. Uh, so far, we've had no issues with lightning outside of a couple strikes, but no fire. So that's some good news. Completely dry here across the state right now. High pressure and control. Usually that means toasty temperatures inland and a marine layer, a stable one at that at the coast, which is going to keep things cool and foggy. Overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, we'll see those low clouds and fog into the nearby valleys, certainly around the coast. We'll clear out on the north side of the bay tomorrow and for all inland areas with clouds lingering on the east side of the bay and then out on the exposed coast of Monterey County. So uh, areas that saw the low clouds sticking around today, you'll probably see that again tomorrow. And uh, that may be the case really through the weekend into early next week. Not a lot of changes in the forecast. There's a few, so which we'll get to in a moment. Well, let's start with your temperatures tomorrow. We'll take you to Santa Cruz County first. I'm expecting a high of the 70s in Santa Cruz, maybe a little bit cooler than today. Upper 60s in Capitola, up in the mountains though, 80s to around 90 degrees. So if it's too cool on the coast, you can always head up into a nice warm redwood forest or someplace up there. It looks pretty toasty. 84 up at the summit tomorrow. East shore of the bay ranging from the 70 degree mark or so in Watsonville to the low 60s in Marina. Salinas at 70, same in Prunedale, San Juan Batista mid 70s, about 10 degrees warmer in Hollister and about 10 degrees warmer than that in Morgan Hill tomorrow. It's just like a stair. It's like a temperature stairs. Over to the Monterey Peninsula, mostly low to mid 60s. Again, a little cool for this time of year. Can't rule out some sunshine. You're more likely to see that on the east side of Monterey out toward Fisherman Flats, south side of Seaside as well, Delray Oaks and uh, the 68 corridor, but back toward the points, uh, you're going to be socked into the clouds. Maybe a little sun poking through, but much more cloud than sun again with highs in the 60s. Down south, not quite as hot tomorrow. The overall air mass cools a little bit overhead. Marine layer is pretty deep, so we'll see 70s and 80s in the near coastal valleys and then 90s up high and down in the south. Over the next seven days on the coast, a lot more of the same. I have picked out Monday specifically as the day that looks warmer, mostly because the marine layer may be deep enough that it will mix a bit, so perhaps a little bit more sunshine in the afternoon. And that deeper mixing uh, allows for warmer temperatures in the low levels. With a stable marine layer, it, it keeps the cool air just close to the ground and near the sea level. But when you start getting some vertical winds, that really uh, cuts through that stable air. So that's what I'm seeing on Monday. You have breezy on top of that to, to show those uh, vertical mixing winds. And then inland areas, seasonable this weekend. We'll get a little bit warmer Monday, Tuesday, and then cool back down to more seasonable temperatures next week. But no rain in the forecast. But of course, there's always the chance of some drizzle.
on the coast, Anna. All right, thanks so much for that, Dan.